Whoa, something's happening. This don't feel too good. Help! Attention peasants of Earth 3999. My dimension is casting a veil over your world, turning your bright, pathetic world into the land of the deeper and darker. Soon you will be one of us. Do you like nightmares and sleep perilous demons? Well, Deep Dark Overworld turns your bright, dreamy day to absolute nightmare fuel, making everything the deep dark, and this is a scary pack. Everything turns into the deep dark biome, including making blocks a type of deep dark and mobs into deep dark mobs. Just look at how scary these villages are. I just want to shoot an arrow through them. The Iron Golem looks like a mini wall that has stopped hitting the gym and lost his muscles. This piggy needs to be put out of his misery. He's missing half his face, man. Come on. And walking around in the rain with this pack does look a bit calming and such a vibe with the colours. I also like the look of the deep dark wood type that is used now. Going underwater gets super dark. So bring a flashlight down here and the squids look like deep dark sea creatures now. Oh, and a nice touch is the villagers keeping their clothing but still looking like moustache heads. And the village biomes look great with this pack. All hostile mobs get a makeover and the skeleton looks the best while the creeper looks like a walking mushroom and zombies look like baby waters. Overall, this is a spooky pack with a great concept. Damn it, Derek, messing with the timeline again. Now that crisis is over, let's get back to improving the blocky world. If you are looking for a subtle way to tell if your crops are fully grown, look no further than Grown Crop Indicator. This resource pack gives a subtle outline on your crops to let you know they are done. A simple pack that does not change the world, but will let you know about the little things in life. You may have forgotten your glasses when caving, but never miss or again with Outline Doors. Outline Doors gives a subtle outline around ores matching the colour of the ore, making it easier to spot them so you won't miss your valuable iron ores again. And I like the addition of how walking on redstone makes the outline glow with it. Reimagined is one of the bigger resource packs in this video which covers a lot. First up, I love how good all the menus look now. A lot more sleek and suit the tables better. Now you get a wizard ring around the table when you get close to it and the new GUI looks great. Makes you feel more like Harry Potter now. There is also some subtle changes to textures and block and crops look a lot better and you have better indication of when they're done. Some vanilla mobs also get variants which is what happens when you mess with the timeline too much. But some of these boys just look so cute. Look at them. And hostile mobs will also get new skins or outfits to fit the occasion going on in their life, which can make them look cooler or scarier. And overall, some blocks get some subtle changes made to them, making them feel more rustic to suit you builders out there. This pack keeps the vanilla feel to it while changing so much at the same time. I am sorry if I butchered it. Xadia's glass bottom boats will give all boats without a chest a glass bottom, so you can see straight through for some wonderful views. Super handy if you're looking for a certain structure or caves to explore underwater, or if you're trying to find some buried treasure. And it brings a whole new level of fun when floating around in boats. Such a simple yet effective resource pack. Have you ever wondered how villagers protect themselves in the rain? Well, villagers will upgrade their pullout game to pull out umbrellas. Uh, umbrellas also act as lightning conductors, so the plague has officially started in this village. I did not mean for this to happen. Run, kids! Villagers now unzip their pants and pull out umbrellas as soon as the rain starts. With great animations and with over 50 different designs, each villager can have their own umbrella to suit any paradise they are in. And with the umbrellas being square, they fit into the world so well. Vanilla butterflies will add some butterflies to random spawning flowers in your world. They only spawn on the flower, don't move around, and you can't touch them. But it makes walking through nature a bit more enjoyable. Starting off, you just have to be around for this one. We got Circular Hotbar. This moves the indicators from your hotbar to be a round boy in the corner of your screen. And I must say, it looks pretty clean. Your main stats appear on the inside of it and XP on the outside. When you mount a horsey, the XP bar turns into a jump bar. So you do have to leave the horsey to see how many levels you got. When you go underwater, bubbles appear in the blank space under your hunger bar, making the circle complete. And when you get extra hearts, they appear on the outside of the bar. This is super clean and simple and would look great for some RPG style worlds. Faithless is a resource pack that overhauls your whole world. You will notice all textures change in your world on items, blocks and mobs, which I find is a bit easier on the eyes. You will notice the UI has changed and all the items inside look different too. And I'm really digging the look of these items. Potions get their own pronouns with different shapes depending Depending on what they are, making them easy to identify. Armor, weapons, and books all look better and more medieval. And I like the individual designs for each book. And can we talk about how good this food looks? Makes me hungry just looking at it. It's the perfect design for food. And the armor even looks different on your body, and I think this looks great. Oh, and how cool and medieval does your inventory look now? Super old school. And when trading with villagers, they have a little icon that judges you. So you may get your feelings hurt when trading with villagers now. The brewing stand comes with a brewing chart, so you can figure out what potions you can make 
unique now, and it makes it easier for any dummy like me and you to curate the potion we need for certain events. The tables and chests get a makeover on the outside and the inside. Just look at how good these GUIs look. Some blocks even have connected textures and 3D textures, and all these mesh together so damn well. I really like the 3D look of lanterns now. Really makes it feel like you're out hunting witches. And the nether portal gets Beyblades in it, which is mesmerizing. Some blocks in the nether will have beating hearts, rib cages, and other body parts jammed into the blocks. Because reasons. Makes the nether more scary now. And I bet I've contributed a few dead villagers to these blocks. And walking through a nether fortress now has a runway of blue on the outside of the pathways, making them a bit more pleasing to explore. The mobs also look great, and skeletons now have an arrow backpack, so they can stop storing their arrows where the sun don't shine. This is your face when mum says no to McDonald's nuggies on the way home. Poor gas. Walking through warped forest is so damn cool, even the piglins are rocking the no shirt and shades look, just waiting to catch a wave on his board. And you also got this nerd with a crown. Endermen stand funny, and you also get a new title when you are unalived, which looks a lot cleaner. The ender portal is nightmare fuel, with all those eyes looking at you and blinking like that. It can give you the heebie-jeebies. And the end island looks so damn cool now. You get a new boss bar for the ender dragon, which looks clean, but not as clean as the end grass covering the island. Makes the end feel more alive. And even the end crystals look like they're having waterfalls coming from them, which I think is the bee's knees. I just love how the end crystal towers look with this. And endermen run like someone from the Weenie Hut Jr. Look at this goober run. Just how good do end cities look now? The grass, the chorus fruit trees with overgrown leaves, and the mossy building all fits in so damn well. The wither looks like someone in a Halloween costume trying to be medicine, and he gets a new boss bar. Vanilla mobs also get a new makeover, making them look super cute. Just look how cute they are now. But nothing beats how cute the piggy is. He lays down when he gets tired, he gets a new walk to strut his stuff, and he gets a nose wobble when he oinks. 10 out of 10 the cutest. Pillagers also get a nice makeover, and I like the raid boss bar. Overall, this is an insane pack and it's huge covering everything in your world. I'd recommend downloading it and checking it out for yourself. Nautilus 3D adds in depth to some items and blocks, making them thick and 3D. And it also gives fences a cool new design, making them look more like farm fences for animals. And I think this is the best design fence I've ever seen in my life. Changed my mind. Bookshelves, enchantment tables, and lanterns look a lot better having some depth on them. Makes it feel like you could pull a book out of the bookcase. Spawners are now also 3D with a visible keyhole. And I don't know how I feel about the end frame. It looks like it's sucking in the eyes to activate it. <laughs> but I thoroughly enjoy the look of 3D rails, making them feel more alive. Looks like the minecart should actually stay on it now. And you also get a new home screen, which looks great. I really like the painting style, and I think this suits the home screen a lot more. Say goodbye to the darkness that surrounds you. Full bright turns up your brightness in the world to a maximum, making it so you can always see no matter where you are. Giving you perfect visibility in the middle of the night, caves, underwater, and in the nether. This pack only works without shaders, so if you use shaders, you're gonna have to turn up the brightness of the setting on your shader setting. Boats are boring, so let's turn them into JDM drift machines with drift boats. By adding in spoilers, some lights, and a bumper car ring around it, this texture pack is a blast to play with. The new boats look great and make playing on race maps even more fun, and they are super well designed. I could whack on the Running in the 90s soundtrack and drift around all day in these. Let's make item frames more pleasing to look at with invisible item frames. Item frames are now invisible making hanging items on your wall a lot more pleasing and can work well with certain designs and builds as you don't have the ugly frames anymore. Unfortunately, glowing item frames are not invisible, so you can only use normal item frames. Are you like me and have the IQ of room dust? Well, Big Brain GUI is the perfect resource pack for you. This resource pack will give you vital information when you go into certain menus that you need to know, like how much fuel each fuel source will burn or what you need for certain potions and even what trades a villager can have. This is the perfect resource pack for anyone starting out or wanting to learn more about the game as you progress. It's also a great way to find out what trades a villager will have before you level them up, as you can see all of his trades. And you don't have to waste your precious resources. Better Lanterns gives the standard lantern a little redesign, making them more 3D and more like an old school lantern. And they give out great vibes when walking at night with them now, like you're out hunting witches. Having a 3D lantern was not something I thought that I needed in life. Just like your simple life, Simple Hotbar gives the hotbar a nice makeover, making it look a bit more pleasing to the eyes and just fresher to look at. It looks super neat, and I like how the XP bar looks like something out of a racetrack. And the new redesign on the armor and the numbers in the hotbar is a nice little touch. Let's add some life to your hotbar with Astrolite's animated textures. This will give certain blocks in your hotbar some life with a little animation. Nothing too over the top, but enough to make you feel special. You can see the animation when you throw it on the ground or when it's in your inventory too. Some of these animations are great and make your world feel a bit more alive. Oh boy, more 3D goodness, this time with Crops 3D. This 
makes crops 3D and makes them more thick. And it just makes crops in general look so much better. And a great touch is they do a little dance. This is a perfect mod for any of you farmers out there. My favorite feature of this pack is how good the pumpkins and watermelons look. Definitely a lot more elegant than normal melons. Your computer will also handle this better than Mike Tyson's fights and won't steal your frames. Resource packs that make you go... Ooh. Let's make bottles bulk out more than Sam Sulek. 3D bottles turns all bottles into true fashion real world style bottles. Making them 3D and store liquid properly. These look great and could suit 3D packs perfectly. And it's more satisfying when throwing these in large bottles at a mob's head. I love you from my head. Tomato. 3D tomatoes turns beetroot into tomatoes. And gives them a nice little vine and some wood to grow. Just like real world tomatoes. They have four different stages and you can see the baby tomatoes coming through the more it grows. Once you have grown and harvested your lovely looking crop you get two new foods you can eat the tomatoes or make some tomato soup just drink it quick before it gets the skin on top guides is the perfect pack for anyone who thinks water is not wet when you open up tables it gives you guides on the best option for each table brewing stands tell you how to make certain items beacons tell you what the best ores are and how to achieve certain powers furnaces tell you the best fuel sources even smithing tables tell you where and how to find smithing templates this is a great pack for any beginners or people who want to learn certain mechanics in the game vanilla evolved is a little pack like you Itself that doesn't change too much. Some blocks will get an overhaul, making them look cleaner with a better design. I'd much prefer these designs over the vanilla design. These items will also get a makeover, which I personally like the look of now. Such a subtle change, but it adds a ton of difference. These mobs also get some changes. I love how the Enderman glows now. The zombies look like he has been in some bar fights, and the Creeper can do a better job at camouflaging now. So I'd keep your eyes peeled for Creepers when using this pack. Minecraft 1.20 gave us a new feature called Armor Trims, and with shiny Armor Trims, we we can make the new trims glow, making your armor look super nice and worth jumping off to your friends now. And it makes your design pop a bit more and makes your armor color choices a lot more interesting. This is your dad's type of carrot. Small and nobody wants it. And this is Bontiful, the type of carrot your mum loves. Bontiful overhauls your crops and makes them nice and thick, making it look like your hard work as a farmer is doing wonders. All crops will now be one big one instead of a batch of little ones, which makes them look a bit cleaner. And the wheat gets a nice little overhaul to it. There is also plans to add more crops to this pack in the future making all the crops nice and thick. Medieval cart will add a new cart to your donkey when you put a chest on your donkey. This cart looks great and makes you want to use your donkey more. The cart will not interact with anything in your world, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck with it. Let's spice up your home decoration with hanging pots. To activate a hanging pot, all you need to do is attach a pot to a chain with no block underneath. And just like that, your plants are now hanging. This is a great little decoration pack and you can insert any type of plant into it, even nether plants, to suit your flowery home the way you like it. Better Skeletons gives all the skeletons in your world an overhaul. Now, depending on what biome the skeleton spawns in, this could also make them blend in more with the world around them as well. But they do look great. All skeletons will now have a quiver which contains unlimited arrows, just like Oliver Queen trying to save the city. And there are different variants, so you can have a normal skeleton, villager skeleton, and a piglin skeleton. Some of these outfits on the unalive humans are great. My personal favorite is the wither skeleton half fused with gold. He looks like the king of the underworld. This guy slaps your girlfriend's ass. What are you doing? You'd bet I would be running. Mobs refresh changes the design of all vanilla mobs. Creepers now lean it back when they walk and spiders hang their butts nice and high while also having different colored eyes and detailed fangs. My boy over here is Headless Nick and I bet he has hard times trying to shoot his arrows. But at least his mate has a head even though he has no arrows in his arrow back. Zombies look more like zombies and have parts of their brains showing, which is a nice little touch. Piglins' knees bend backwards and they grow warts depending on what bone they grew up in. And the piglin brutes look absolutely terrifying. Holy fuck! What is that? Someone turned Grandad's left nut into a ghast! Oh god, it even opens up when it shoots fire! What an absolute monstrosity! Someone help me! Get me out of here! Well, that's one way to get out of here. Well, moving on. The sky pancakes look a bit cooler and a little bit more menacing. They truly fit into the ends now. Endermite get a new look, and they can now spawn in many different colors. The drowned are now mermaids, and they're trying to protect Atlantis. And they also come in many different colors. But is this guy a cannibal? He is holding a fishing rod. I need answers here. The husk gets a little cold with his new full body outfit, and the stray just floats around doing his own thing. All jokes aside, overall, this is a great pack, and the creators put in a ton of effort to create something cool. This would be a great pack to use in a horror themed world. Oh boy, it's storming pretty bad. I guess it's time for a nap in my bee bed. Fancy beds will give all beds in your world a makeover to die for. There is now 15 brand new bed styles that you can incorporate into your world to suit any build or mood of the day. And I love how these beds look. These should be an option to 
make you vanilla Minecraft. And it makes going into villagers' houses more exciting because it's akin to surprise for beds now. I mean, who doesn't want to sleep in a Mario bed? This pack will change all the vanilla beds. So depending on the color you want will depend on the style that you get. Visual enhancement speaks for itself. And unlike your face, it makes tools and weapons more pleasing to look at. Depending on what enchantment you put on, they will get a new look to it by adding in styles like fires, vines, feathers, and much more. It's a great little touch and even the books get new designs so you can easily identify which enchantment is what. And these books just look really good for decoration purposes. It's great having animations when going through and slaughtering villages as you don't feel bad by hurting them since you are too distracted by your visual enhancements. This could be a wicked pack for PvP fun or an RPG world with friends. Installing the Brewing Guide resource pack is the equivalent to owning the Krabby Patty secret formula. This pack will give you a cheat sheet showing you what you need to make certain potions. And boy, this is perfect for dumbasses like myself who don't know diddly squat about brewing. A perfect pack for just about anyone, especially if you want to learn all the potions properly. And it's super simple to read so anyone can understand it. Bring your bookshelves to life with 3D bookshelves, making them look aesthetically pleasing and just suit into your builds a lot better now. I mean, just look how good they look. This is the cutest mob ever. The squid is now a baby. And just look at his little tentacles pushing through the ocean. And the little pink one looks like he's out of finding Nebo and is ready to ink. They are small enough to fit in your village's wells now. But be careful in the wild as they will easily get attacked when left alone. Oh, what a nice cock. Better farm animals changes vanilla animals into beautiful goddesses. Like changing some of the chickens to roosters or just overhauling the normal design and giving them a new little strutting animation. The sheep variants will judge everything you do in life. Would recommend slapping them as they look like you just drop kicks their baby across the Pacific. The Moo Moo looks cute. He is definitely the best mob in the pack. How could you not want to farm a cows after seeing this? The piggy got a cute makeover and he now waddles when he walks, making you feel bad if you want to eat his bacon. And oh my lord, how cute do these different bunny variants look? We need a petition to have vanilla bunnies this cute and small. They are just so cute, I wanna... Cherry loading screen changes your loading screen to the 1.20 Minecraft launcher screen. Sadly, it's not animated, but it still looks cool and is a great change from normal screen. Colorful enchantments adds color to all your enchantments depending what it is, making them a bit easy to see what type of enchantments are and just give your screen a little more quality of life. Do you miss the old Minecraft OG textures? Default HD brings back some of the old school Minecraft textures we grew up with and makes them HD, giving you a bit of a nostalgia vibe. Even the old school watercolor brings back so many memories. Going through the libraries looks great great as all these textures in here get a HD revamp. Strolling down memory lane in the village, forgetting about all of your issues. The strongholds are a vibe to walk through, and the end and nether dimensions look great. But unless it was in old school Minecraft, they do not get updated textures, which can look a bit odd in some cases. But overall, the feel is great. This is classic 3D. It does two things. It makes certain blocks in your world 3D by giving them bevels and layers, and it will also turn your PC fans into maximum overdrive with enough power to launch SpaceX. I love how nothing is over the top in this pack, and the 3D effect fits in so well with the rest of your world. And the decoration blocks like ladders, trapdoors, and tables look the best, and they have so much more life to them. Just keep in mind, having too many 3D blocks around may drop frames like your mother dropped you. The Stay True Resource Pack is a great pack for overhauling your whole world. Crops will now grow in different stages. Flowers, grass, bushes, and trees get a whole new makeover looking more immersive. There is also now connected texture, which is perfect for you builders out there. Certain blocks in the walls and on the ground will merge together making builds look a lot more unique. And there's also blocks that get a few new variants to suit any build you have. But just look how bushy the leaves are and the gems that grow. Trees also now have a couple of new colors, orange and pink, which suits into worlds perfectly. And even nether blocks look super nice connecting to blocks in the overworld. This is a super clean and simple resource pack, and I'd recommend it to anyone, except for Derek. Ter's hostile army will take the vanilla mobs and overhaul them into some cute little gremlins, except for the moth. He is as ugly as you. Some of these mobs will get a whole new redesign on. Like zombies will be little gremlins riding dogs. All creepers will have TNTs on their back so you can eventually figure out which mobs are with. Mobs like the Enderman and the Skeleton don't change too much, except they do get cuter bodies making them look a bit less scary. But don't let the cuteness fool you. They will still try to do everything they can to clap them cheeks and unalive you. Down in the nether, it looks like an amusement park. Piglins will be riding on top of magma cubes and bouncing around having a good time. They will also be getting hot air balloon rides from the gas. And I will admit, this looks fun. The Wither Skeleton and the Piglin will float 
around, making them look a bit more intimidating, but not as intimidating as the Wither. He has gone full Doctor Strange with the spell on his back and chode like body, and he also has four floating heads. His new design looks super nice and fits it well. Let's improve your enchanting rooms with Enchanting Reimagined. This pack adds in a ring around your enchanting tables when you get near it, making you feel like a true wizard from Hogwarts. This texture pack is a feature from the Reimagined texture pack I reviewed in this video, so check it out if you want to see how good the rest of this pack is. Oh boy, things are getting hot in here with Fire Rekindled. This resource pack changes the animation of fires in your world, making them a hundred times better. I just love how the flames move in the furnaces now, and having smoke and embers come from torches is a great effect. Lava also gets a nice little animation, but the best change to this pack comes with the explosions. Now when you blow up creepers, they let off a new explosion and animation, which looks super wicked, and makes explosions a little more scary. Just look at how satisfying it looks when recreating Pearl Harbor on a village. The nether portal also gets a subtle change, enhancing the portal animation a little bit more. Oh, and it does also change the animation of normal fire, making it look a little bit cooler. Enhanced boss bars changes the boring old look of boss bars, making your fights feel more like boss fights. The ender dragon boss bar is probably the cleanest looking bar, with the dragon wings and breathing aspect to it. Just look at how damn cool this looks. The wither look is intimidating, and it's kind of hard to see the health, but it does look pretty cool. And I like how it's designed after a wither rose. The raid bar is plain and simple, being an arrow suiting the pillagers nicely, and having the arrow fill back up looks neat as well. Recreated villages gives villagers with a job a few new additions by adding extras to their bodies showing off what they do, which looks great, and you got this guy carrying fish. Just give me some fish, man. Come on, I'm hungry. The little additions to these villages look great, and I love the blacksmith and the farmer. Carrying around tools and food just looks neat. Make your build super clean with borderless glass. Just as the name suggests, glass now has no borders and has a super clean look to it now, making your builds more pleasing and can even help out creative builders better. The name perfectly matches the resource pack, so 10 out of 10 on the name to resource pack combo. Oh boy gamers, it's our time. Let's increase your FPS with RBG GUI. RGB GUI will turn your hotbar and menus into a unicorn's dream straight out of Rainbow Road. RGB will flash across your screen and is a nice effect and guaranteed to increase your FPS by 1 million. This affects your hotbar, menus, and all GUIs in your game. And I must admit, this looks pretty clean. It's time to tap into your inner Florida man to bring out the inner redneck in yourself because we got airboats and it's gator hunting season. Airboats change all the boats with chest on it to be like a Floridian water plant. There is now a propeller on the back, which automatically moves when you move, which makes it a great touch. The base of the boat gets a little makeover, making it more swamp friendly, and the chest is still usable in the back. Now this is the free version, and you only get one type of boat, but if you subscribe to the Creators Patreon, you will get a variety of boats to choose from, and I'll link that down in the description below. Fancy GUI is the perfect overhaul to your boring grey UI. It will make changes to your crafting tables, furnaces, anvils, hoppers, brewing stands, and cartography tables. These match each table perfectly and are designed so well. I would love to see an option for this in vanilla Minecraft, and my personal favorite is the brewing stand. A subtle little pack to immerse yourself in your world. Just some more doggos adds in more dog variants to Minecraft. They have a few styles to suit different biomes and dimensions, letting you have the perfect companion no matter where you are. These are all random, so if you want a certain type, you'll have to keep searching or keep breeding until you get what you want. Minecarts look odd when rolling around rail road so let's change that by adding in wheels to minecarts and this is satisfying to look at and looks more natural to look at and they keep the natural minecraft look by staying square which i imagine would not be a comfortable ride let's make obliterating skeletons more enjoyable with skeleton physics this resource pack changes the way skeletons die by giving them a little animation now their bodies will disassemble and fall to the ground when they run out of health which is satisfying to watch and makes hunting skeletons more pleasing i could do this all day Visible ores is a great resource pack for anyone who has a man look when looking for ores. Ores will now glow bright with an outline, so you can never miss them. No more will you be running around and miss some ore hiding in the corner of your screen. This also works for nether ore, making ancient debris a little easier to find, as it doesn't blend in so much with the nether rack. There is nothing more annoying than having your redstone cut out because it went too far without a redstone source. Well, for you silly gooses who can't count past three, Redstone Tweaks is here to help by adding numbers to the amount of redstone attached to each other. So now when you lay out redstone, it counts for you. So when you reach 15, you know to add in a repeater, redstone block, or redstone torch to continue your redstone along without it cutting out. Life can be plain and boring, so let's turn your boring snooze fest of a GUI from this 
to this with Vines and Leaves GUI. Touch your inner mother nature with adding in a dark UI and some Vines and Leaves to all of your menus and UIs. I really like the look of this pack and can see it fitting in well with certain style worlds. This works on all tables and menus you open and each one will have their own little design so you get a new look on every table you open. The Minecraft trees are too flat but Bushy Leaves changes that by making your trees look like they need a shave. By adding in some depth and details and making leaves stick out of them. This is a subtle pack but I feel it adds in a lot of quality of life to your world and makes exploring tree biomes a bit more enjoyable. Just be careful not to poke out your eye when walking underneath a bushy leaf. Psst, hey, want to see something illegal? The goddamn moon is now a circle. This is so illegal it's going to give me five stars. But enough of the flat earth in the sky. We are here to talk about Dandelion X. The pack that makes the sun look so swirly like a lollipop. This pack gives your entire world a bigger overhaul than James Charles. All blocks and colours look pastel, which is easier on the eyes to look at. The grass gets details and even overlaps on the path blocks for a cleaner look on pathways. And even mobs get a cute new look, making them look huggable. I'd much prefer to have this Moomoo in my bed over the munted vanilla Moomoo. And I love how the sheep look with the new wool design, their new outfits slay. Villagers also get a change. This one has two different Coloured eyes, which I thought was cool. This skeleton is trying to intimidate the rock, and he is doing a good job at it. And oh my lord, baby zombies have no limit. <laughs> he is sacrificing himself to try and catch this villager. Satan's left nut has no chill, like damn dude, wait until night time. Anyway, moving on. I like how depending on what biome you enter, it will change the colour tone of your world, making you feel more immersed in your world. Even the desert horse likes this new change. Nether portals look like they are trying to hypnotise you to enter their world and they look damn good doing it. Walking through the nether doesn't look as scary with this pack, and it makes it feel more like a cartoon. Or like something back before the boomers had colour TV. Look at this distinguished young gentleman. The creeper now wears ties, having more class than you ever will. And this pack does make zombies look a bit scarier. Endermen get new green eyes instead of purple, so they look more evil now. And the ender dragon gets a slight makeover, but she still looks normal and scary. Oh, and the pillagers look like they lost a bet to shave off their eyebrows. What a goofball. Overall, this is a great pack that changes so much in your world and I'd highly recommend checking it out for yourself as there are some great little additions in here for a fun time. I see nether portal on all for anyone who wasn't smacked as a kid. Icons is a nice little resource pack that adds in icons on your menu. Buttons will now have custom icons making it easy to see what each button is or to see if certain buttons are activated. Or if you are like me, you like looking at the pictures instead of reading. It makes life a whole lot easier. Overall, I like the feel of this pack and it adds a lot to a boring menu screen. Next time you try to sleep when there's a zombie apocalypse outside, just remember, <laughs> you may not be able to sleep because there is hot singles in your area. <laughs> I had a good giggle when I found this silly little pack. I've had my laugh now, moving on. The Minecraft skies are as boring as watching paint dry. So let's turn them into drama queens with dramatic skies. Dramatic skies overhauls all the skies in your world and makes looking up more exciting. Each biome will have its own brand new sky making you feel more at home when you finally choose where to build your base. Going between these biomes will change the sky seamlessly to suit each biome so it's perfect. And the best part is you don't need shaders for the full effect. And when you don't have shaders, you still get a sun that makes it look like you do have shaders. The nighttime skies look really good and the mood is straight out of Bruce Almighty. Look at how big and beautiful it looks. And there is even an aurora borealis in the snowy biomes which is a great touch. And can we talk about just how wild the end looks? The sky in here definitely makes it feel like you are floating through space. And I'm loving the vibes in here. Picture this. You are minding your own business, farming your crops. But you get a funny feeling. So you turn around and you see Armageddon destroying the world you know and love. Dramatic Sky's newest feature adds in tornadoes to the distance whenever you have a thunderstorm or rain during the day. And oh my god, how cool does this look? I love this effect. And it just makes the pack worth a download, in my opinion. The Barb has put a lot of effort into this pack over the years and is constantly updating it. So don't forget to check out his page for extra perks as well as to keep up to date with everything. It's not natural when items stand up when you drop them, but the item physics resource pack makes certain items lay down when you throw them, which looks cool and so much better. And it looks super satisfying when you're running and dropping your item. The items don't touch the ground and still float, but it gives the illusion they are on the ground. Oh boy, this pack is cursed. The wandering trader and llama have switched skins. The trader now looks like a moose into BDSM, and the trader looks like he wants to offer me cheap car insurance. Either way, I still just want to attack them and does not make me like them anymore. Chess reimagined changes the appearance of chess to look a bit more cleaner. But now when you open them, they have a little surprise. Normal chests will get a deep pocket, making them look more like a real chest. And ender chests look like they will teleport you to another dimension. Look at how deep these are now. Just the way your mum likes it. I would love to see this
this pack get an update? So the inside of your chest displays the items that you put into it. Now, just like your mother, this is a huge pack and I can't cover everything in one video, but let's see some basics. Better vanilla building adds in many new block colors, designs, and variants. They even have different shades so you can make gradient builds now. They also have neon blocks for you rave lovers out there. You can get ores in any dimension as well as cool colored redstone lamps. There is many new blocks in the end with new leaves and purple fire. Mobs will now get custom outfits depending on what biome they spawn in. There is a whole new library of custom weapons and armor to choose from. Just pick a name to your desire. Some of the new armor and weapons are also custom glow -a dark colors or even deep dark armor. You can get armor to suit the biome you live in and they even have heaps of custom elytras. Oh, and they have some cool little headwear items you can wear for fun. This pack is too big to cover in this video, but I can happily make a full showcase on it if you like. Health bars will add in a fresh new indicator above all entities, indicating how much juice they have before they are unsubscribed from life. It's really accurate too and super useful for fighting mobs or checking the health of your favorite pet. And they interact with the mobs real well and fall over when the mob dies. This doesn't work on bosses who already have health bars, so you have to check on the health of a boss the old fashioned way. Now it's time to see what Minecraft would look like if EA locked part of it behind a paywall with Vanilla Experience Plus. You can now show off your netherite pyramid with a ruby beacon. The red beacons look so cool, and I feel like they could suit a lot of builds. Trading with villagers and opening UIs gives a much cleaner look, and I really love some of the icons they now show, as well as the brewing stand guide, so you can now learn how to brew items. It's a great touch for any dumbasses like myself. Oh, and some of the items now have animations when in your hotbar and when you're holding them. I like the nice addition of when hovering over food, you will now see its saturation level to see how much it'll fill up your hunger bar and keep you satisfied. The cube light bulb has been transformed into a round light bulb, which I don't know if this feels illegal, but it looks so good. And the Swiss cheese light bulb is now round and it has different phases depending on what night cycle you are on, which is pretty cool. Iron golems have slightly different designs. So can someone tell me why the iron golem with no flowers looks so goddamn naked? It's like having no clothes on, but wearing socks. Such a weird feeling. Holding lanterns will give you witch hunting vibes as you now hold it above your head in first person. And in third person, you hold it by your side instead of a 2D item. A subtle change to enchantment rooms will have spells coming from the books into the table, but you have to look really closely to see these. The turtles now have a variant of a brown shell, so we are one step closer to having Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And pigs that spawn in swamps are muddy like Shrek, taking just after their father. And you know those annoying traders? They now get variant skins depending where they spawn, and they even have nether variants, because even in hell you can't escape them. And I must admit, the different colored outfits look great. Cactuses grow some arms and look even more like cactuses now. It still makes me want to touch them even more. And items now have depletion visuals, showing that they are about to break, which is a nice little indicator. And the netherite swords have moustaches now. Why don't the vanilla swords have this? Overall, this is a great pack to expand on top of vanilla Minecraft, by adding in life in parts of the game we didn't know we needed. This will work on Iris, but won't show some of the visuals or animations, so I'd recommend using Optifine for the full effect. If you are a terrible farmer like myself, or your villager has quit on you, this resource pack, Hey Your Crops Are Ready, is perfect for you. This will give you an exclamation mark above all your crops that are ready to harvest, letting you know it's chow time. The perfect little pack for when you're running by and just have a quick glance at your crops to see if they're ready. The vanilla ender dragon is about as scary as that plush chicken holding a butter knife. But with the better ender dragon, we will live life on scary mode, making the ender dragon more scary. This pack gives gives the dragon a makeover straight from RuPaul himself by upgrading the wings, making the face more menacing, and giving her purple lava feet. And this looks great with shaders with the glow emitting from it, and just makes fighting the ender dragon a little more scary now. The elytra also gets a makeover by making it look more like ender dragon wings now. Definitely looks a lot better than the vanilla elytra. Do you wake up and feel like everything is awesome? Well, everything is awesome with mine bricks, as your whole world changes from blocks to Lego bricks. Damn, you smell good today. And I gotta say, everything in this pack looks well done, and I love how Lego accurate everything is. And I'm not sure if these are torches or spicy drinking cups. As you can see, not every block in this pack is Lego, but just about all of them are. Villages are part of the unwanted and don't get a Lego makeover. But I love how good some of the mobs look now. And just how good does the pink biome look as a brick? I like the detail of how the bottom of the leaves are the bottom of Lego bricks. And the bottom of every block looks like this. Going underwater, seaweed is just a pole now. But don't worry, you can still swim through it. And how goddamn cool the nether portal 
sure look in the desert, everything really is awesome. Even the nether doesn't look too scary, being half blocky and half legoy. And I really like how the mushrooms look in the nether. I don't feel the urge to eat them when I see them now. And I love the details of the little single Lego pieces on the tops of bamboo. And lastly, when you open up your menu, it is also a Lego palette, which I thought was a great touch. Life is better in dark mode. And with Mandela's dark GUI, it will turn your Minecraft UI into dark mode so you no longer burn your pupils when opening menus. Opening your inventory, you will see your avatar trapped in a box and he is having the time of his life. Trading with villagers is a bit more pleasing and you get a nice little box around the trade. And I find all menus in general are just more pleasing to look at. There is a nice little box indicating what slot you are in on your hotbar so you never get lost in there again. And all the menu buttons are beveled for a better look. GUI revision is a simple pack that overhauls the GUIs and your hotbar. Your hotbar gets a makeover, making it look cleaner and a bit less Minecrafty. Look how high definition it looks now. And now all of your table GUIs will get a nice makeover, making them look better than your mother in her prime. This is a great simple pack that adds a lot to your world, which fits in with vanilla Minecraft very well. Dynamic Surroundings is a sound pack that enhances and adds in sounds to immerse yourself in your world. This pack also adds a little horror element to your world too. I had to change my undies after hearing some of these sounds in certain areas. So let's sit back and listen to some Minecraft ASMR. Circles are illegal in Minecraft, but we always aim for five stars, and round trees will help us achieve that. This resource pack makes all trees round, which I must admit, looks pretty pleasing in a blocky world. Even when breaking the blocks, they will float on the ground as a round boy. But be careful when you throw them, because this brings a whole new meaning to dropping a log. This is a simple, yet pleasing resource pack. Hunger Preview will give you a preview of how much food will fill you up. This is a simple pack that can be useful for anyone exploring or just trying to learn food rates in Minecraft. And you can even plan out your adventures ahead so you never go hungry again. Cube Sun and Moon does like the title says, makes the fireball in the sky a cube and the nighttime cheese square a cube. This is such a great quality of life pack making them more 3D. As you can see with shaders on the sun you can't see it as well but with no shaders you get that crispy 3D look for the sun. The best part is how the moon will cycle through how full it is making certain sides darker or lighter and I just love how this looks. This is personally my favorite pack out of all these in the video. Exilist enhanced vanilla fine tunes of vanilla world to make it better. Unlike you, textures now connect with other textures making for seamless crossovers for pathways and biome blending which is perfect for any aesthetic builders out there and it can also enhance your houses with walls connecting up this only works for certain blocks but can achieve some great results and it also adds in some depth and 3d to certain blocks which is a nice touch 
It brings the water around deserts and swamps a bit more alive. The Nether also gets some love with this pack with the connected textures. Now, who doesn't love a good apocalyptic style texture pack? Alacrity changes the look of your whole world, giving you a more rustic medieval vibe. I love the way the blocks look in this pack, and everything flows so well with each other. Abandoned villages look creepy and eerie now, giving out post-apocalyptic vibes. Zombies actually look scary in this pack, like decaying humans. And this one is missing an eye. Forests and jungles look like overgrown wastelands, making them more creepy to explore of a nighttime when covered in mobs. Iron golems are now walking furnaces, but you cannot smelt anything with them as they are selfish. Bookshelves and carpets get a great home decoration makeover, and villages look like this. Excuse me, sir, please get out of my bubble! Plants in pots pass the vibe check, and I love the aesthetic of torches and walls now. The updated textures in lush biomes makes it feel more complete. and hanging mine shafts look great with 3D chains and rails, and even caves feel more cavey, and creepers turn into absolute nightmare fuel. This would give me a heart attack if it dropped in front of me. Swamps feel more swampy, and nether portals fit in here so well now. Just look at the aesthetic going on here. Oh, and the piglins are naked, so I'm gonna punch them in the dick for not wearing pants. The nether overhaul looks great, giving more details to all the textures down here for a spooky vibe. And the lava looks like lava, and I don't want to drink it now. Ah, this piglin is wearing pants, so you are destined to do great things. Rey Mysterio, where are your pants? Dick punch! The ghasts are showing off their big brains and have a butthole for them now. So this is what my toilet sees after Taco Bell. The blaze looks very intimidating now. Bit of nightmare fuel when a bunch of these come after you. And how cool does it look going through strongholds now? Such a vibe. The end looks like a wasteland now, and Endermen get a few extra eyes, and they're all green. And the dragon gets a realistic, scary design on her now. Overall, this is a great pack. I didn't show you everything, so you guys can explore it and find new things for yourself. And I'd highly recommend it download, as the creator's done a wicked job with it. The beavers texture pack changes the look of axolotls to beavers, and these water dogs look so damn cute. The animations fit in very well, and the overall design is great. This is probably one of my favorite resource packs to date. I'd love to see this turn into a mod, where beavers interact with trees around them and make their own little dams. Enderman turn into Nightmare Fuel with Breezy's Enhanced Enderman, giving them a full makeover with a new tail that moves around. And the bendy legs and little horns complete this look. And when you find them in the nether, they also get a warped fungi look on them after they pick up blocks. And getting chased by these standing lizards is pretty intimidating. The base Minecraft textures look like an unshaved mango that was kicked by a moose. Let's make Minecraft look like the trailer with the Bare Bones resource pack and fresh animations. Bare Bones removes your pixels and turns your screen into 4K pastel viewing and fresh animations gives mobs more moves than Jagger, having so much more freedom with their bodies and having perfect facial expressions. These two resource packs are the best combinations you will ever get. As you can see, villagers now look as excited as Shane Dawson when he sees a cat. They charge into battle having a good time and the villagers look terrified. But some mobs look super cute with the new animations though. The axolotl moves so gracefully when he's free in the ocean. Just look at how much fun he's having. And the ghast is having the time of his life, moving his little feet around. Look how cute he looks! And speaking of feet, the little stompers on the creepers are cute enough to unlock a foot fetish. But some mobs get creepier, such as the zombie, who moves like a real zombie now, and his animations makes getting chased by piglins terrifying. And you know what else is terrifying? Twerking spiders! Spiders just look super creepy, moving all eight legs individually. Remodeled fences and gates bring a big overhaul to fences and gates, making a builder's dream come true with heaps of new designs. Each wood type has its own design to choose from, making exploring your world more of a necessity. My personal favorite is the oak fence. These designs are so unique that can fit in anywhere and will only make your builds look 10 times better. Mojang is really lucky with not having more fence designs in vanilla Minecraft. Fast Better Grass is a resource pack that changes your grass from this to this, turning your grass and dirt blocks into full grass blocks, which I think is a good alternative to changing up grass blocks, improving the look of your world, villages, and all of your builds. Grey's Mob Overhauls changes all the mobs in your world to something that would be your sleep perilous demon. Some of these mobs designs are cute and some are terrifying. Iron Golems look like reindeers who hit the roids and train with Ronnie Coleman, but the sheep, cows and other passive mobs look super cute. Oh look, an average sized Australian spider. Oh look, an average sized baby Australian spider. Creepers look like their name now. The skeletons look cute, but what in the stranger things is going on with the zombies? Look how terrifying it is being chased by baby zombies. Ghasts look like majestic stallions. Striders look like dinosaurs roaming through the lava. The Wither looks like a demon king. 
Shulker boxes now look like the Eye of Sauron on the inside, and the 2D eyes make it kind of scarier looking. And let's talk about how cool the mob heads look. The dragon head looks like 20 finger Sakuna and makes for a great decoration piece. And besides the zombie head being nightmare fuel, the other mob heads look amazing. Oh, what's that? A wither skeleton head with horns? Down in the nether, the wither skeleton grows horns to resemble Lucifer himself, which they can either be brick colored or gold. And the blaze looks like a fire goat floating around, ready to throw his little swords at you. And the ender dragon looks like a royalty end queen now. The mobs in this pack have had a great overhaul and could be perfect for a horror themed world. And all the effort and the detail that has gone into the mobs is really impressive. Sniffers are the latest feature to Minecraft 1.20, and they are lacking a bit. But with biome sniffers, we get sniffers from around the the globe with different skins depending on what biome they spawn in. Different versions include jungle, plains, cherry, mushroom, warped nether forest, and crimson forest. And I love the way some of these sniffers look, and I think it adds a bit more lore to them. Banner patterns now have symbols on them. It can be annoying making banner patterns not knowing what each one looks like, but banner pattern clarity adds a little symbol on each pattern so you know what it'll look like before you whack it in a loom, making your life 10 times easier when creating banners. We always talk about dogs, so let's change it up with better cats. This pack overhauls cats, giving them many different designs and new animation, and oh boy, these cats are pretty cute. And even the babies get the new changes, and I love the way their tails move. It fits in this pack so well. There are plenty of kitten designs for you to choose from to suit any part or dimension you want to build your home in. Let's turn your netherite sword into a weapon of a true martial artist with double-sided netherite sword. This resource pack adds a blade to both sides of your netherite sword, making you feel like Darth Maul with the coolest sword in the galaxy. It still acts like a normal sword, so you can't use both sides of it, but it looks so damn cool swinging this thing around. I managed to get my hands on the super secret Minecraft New Zealand edition with a little help from Sheepified. As the name entails, all by Mobs get turned into sheep, and this is either nightmare fuel or a good time. Like, look at this horse. It's seen things, man. Even the bells have a sheep decoration. If only it made sheep sounds when you hit it. And they are made by the local Aucklander when he is done farming his crops. This chicken knows what you did last summer. The warden looks like a big old teddy bear. He ain't so scary now, and he just wants a hug. And zombies look like they are attacking the local chimpanzee. Iron golems look so weird. Striders look shocked that they have been turned into sheep with pancake arms. And with shaders, magma cubes are now bouncing. Suns. Look how bright these cubes are. Piglins in lava just look unnatural. Blaze now has sheep feet rod floating around them like trophies of the souls they have taken. Endermen are lanky sheep. And yes, the Prime Minister of New Zealand herself is in this pack. The Ender Dragon Sheep. Look how gracefully it looks flying around without a care in the world. And it looks pretty goofy, which I love. And lastly, the Wither also turned into a three-headed sheep. But I turned off shaders so you can see the floating sun in all its glory. The Minecraft world is lacking little quality of life items. But Foliage Plus changes that by adding in random items to your world. Adding rocks to pathways and making trees look more bushier with sometimes decaying leaves inside them. Butterflies will hang around on flowers which can look really good in your gardens at the front of your house and it's cool to stumble across them in the wild. Wandering deserts you could find these little holes and sometimes they will have eyes in them that look into your soul. You can find ladybugs hanging on trees and grass patches which is pretty cool. Trees will randomly get funky growing on it perfect for forest and lily pads in swamps get a new little flower with them. Don't let the name fool you. Spryzeeds falling leaves leaves does not make leaves fall, but it does add hanging leaves to the bottom of trees for a more aesthetic feel to your world. And this suits very well in certain biomes. Just make sure not to poke an eye out when walking underneath a low built tree. And I think it looks so peaceful having these hang from cherry trees with the falling leaves as well. If you leave your horse alone for 5 minutes with RuPaul, you will get better horses. Making horses look great and look more like horses. Along with changing which way their knees bend, they also get many new variants to choose from. So you can find the perfect horse to suit your world. They also get new eating animation and look great in armor. You can also name tag the saddle to have a different color saddle. I love how this pack will add extras to every single edition of the horse. Torturable health bars add visual effects to certain mobs when they get closer to meeting Jesus. Zombies will lose a chunk of their head when they are one shot, while husks will lose a chunk in the center of their heads with an eye dropping down. Creepers will show some ripped skin with a TNT block hidden as their hearts. Skeletons will lose the bottom of their jaw, having the rest of their head sit awkwardly on their shoulders. Besides Enderman losing an arm, they look like you just beat them up and stole their lunch money. Look at him crying. Pillagers will get the JFK treatment to the noggin, which doesn't look like a fun time. Biters will get a slice along the back of the neck like he just went for the nape. It's subtle and can be a bit hard to see. And if you look close enough, the warden loses an ear, but right at the moment of death, you unleash your inner Hushra, 
and chop his head off so he can't regenerate. Mob figures is the best way to add decorations and be up close and personal the hostile mobs. If you name a carved pumpkin, you can get any of these mob figures. You can place them around your house, indie guns, or even wear them on your head as a hat. At the moment, there is only a handful of mobs you can get, but hopefully in the future, we get more mobs. Bring the dead to life with spawn animation. This resource slash data pack makes it so mobs will rise from the ground when they spawn, which could turn your pants from blue to brown when wandering around at night time. The animations are great, and the iron golems don't have any chill and will start attacking mobs mid-spawn. Goku needs to take notes on this technique. This is a great feature that could be great to see in vanilla Minecraft as a toggle feature because it just looks so damn good and it adds a whole new aspect to the game. Oh, and this is a data pack, but it's in the resource pack section on Curse Forge, so I'm classing it as a resource pack. I will fight you if you try to defy my logic. Now it's time to enhance potions with Obscura's Stylized Potion. This resource pack changes the shapes of potions to make them more identifiable and some of the new designs are wicked and makes throwing scales of poison potions a lot more fun. I love the design choices for each potion in this pack, so now when scrolling through I can easily identify which potion I want to use and which potion I want to make. I would love to see a concept like this added to vanilla Minecraft. Minecraft fire only excites cavemen, but with enhanced fire, we can now excite millennials by changing the fire to have a mother fire with her little baby fires in the same block. But the daddy fire has gone out to get some milk. This pack changes the way fire looks by adding some depth and making some fire have little flames along with big flame, making your campfires and forest fires look a lot better. Hollow Warden is a pack that changes the head of the warden from a warden to a moth head. Seriously, I can see the face of a moth now. It adds in a new style and changes the body a little bit too, making the warden more intimidating. Just keep it away from light bulbs. Icons gives your hotbar a slight change to make them a little more pastel and cartoony. A great little pack which I think looks better than the vanilla style. Nether portals have always been a mystery, but now we are one step closer to solving the mystery with mystical nether portals. This resource pack adds cryptic symbols to the nether portal, which is a great effect and could be great for world building lore between the nether and the overworld. Is this the secret language of the piglin? And obviously, the bigger the portal, the more letters you fit, and the better this looks. What if Ender Eyes blinked at you? Well, blinking Ender Eyes makes it so all Ender Eyes blink, making for some creepy looking end portals. But they do kind of look cool when you throw them and they're blinking in the air before they pop. But not as cool as the YouTube recommended video. They know what you want to watch, so give it a click and I'll see you legends over there. Scales on infested adds a scale icon to any block that is infested. So you can prepare yourself for certain situations or you can just run away like a little wimp to avoid the area like the plague. Redstone Tweaks is for people like myself who ate dog biscuits as a kid. This pack shows basic redstone knowledge like having numbers showing how far your signal is going and when it stopped, starting at 15 and ending at one. This is perfect for farm building. Hoppers now get arrows pointing which way the hopper is going on the side and inside. So no matter how you place it, you can see the direction. Observers and dispensers also get red accents and arrows on the side showing which way they are working. And comparators and repeaters get numbers on them to help you find what setting you need. Oh, and the GUI for redstone items now has time limits on them to help you out a little bit more. OLED advanced GUI changes your GUI to a more simple, clean a look. Each GUI will look like its object you open up. The most common is the tables and it also has a clear edge so it no longer takes up wasted space on your screen and this is definitely one of the cleaner GUI overhauls I've seen and I love how well each design looks. Props to the creator for making such an amazing simple pack. Transparent GUI makes your GUI and hotbar transparent so now when you are crafting or trading with a villager mobs can no longer sneak up on you as you have a full field of vision to protect you again. This is also a clean pack for anyone who likes minimal GUI. UIs. Rocking Boats is a subtle pack you have to pay attention to, so I've sped this footage up so you can see it a little bit better. It adds a slight rocking animation to boats when sitting in the water to make them more lifelike. Banana PvP Essential is the perfect overlay for you PvP lovers out there. As you can see, my sword is small, which indicates it's cold outside. Swords will no longer interfere with your field of view, making it easier to turn your enemies into a kebab. You also get a nice little hit indicator on Bob, throwing out Metal Gear Solid Alerts and Zelda Hearts, just to confirm you have hit your target. And I like how well this animation goes in with the game. Oh, and this little guy in the corner, he is looking into your soul, whispering ungodly things to you. But once you run out of hearts, he is your totem of undying and will save your life like a good little guy. Apples are also smaller so they don't take up much screen, making it so munching on food won't get you hurt. And as you can see, fires are smaller and won't block your field of view when you catch on fire. Unlike that damn octopus from Mario Kart that blocks your field of view, this is the perfect little pack for anyone who still plays PvP and Bed Wars. 
This is the Minecraft you all know and love. But what if I told you your life was a lie? Let me take you into the matrix and show you what reality really is. Rotoblox turns your world from peasant 8-bit viewing to 4K viewing fit for a king. Your reality can be more detailed than a Bob Ross painting. The iron golems look like a built brick shithouse. The details in the grass and the dirt blocks that overlap, and you can just feel the level of detail in the cobblestone just by looking at it. But normal mobs don't change, they stay the same. How unfortunate for them. Villager houses in this pack give off many evil vibes. Sand looks like my acne face going through puberty, and the water just looks so calming. And as we grow gills to breathe underwater, we can see how beautiful Aquaman's world is. They even go above and beyond with the little details on the lanterns. The dirty lanterns look so cool. And even ice and snow is super detailed. Exploring in caves is something straight out of a horror movie when holding a torch. Just look how creepy this looks. And as you can see, this area has more detail in it than the James Webb Telescope. Truly astonishing. Going through a pre slayer the detail stays true 8K and the reflections make the simulation feel real. You can find the souls of all the lives lost from the homies when they couldn't down that guy that was one shot when wandering through Soul Sand Valley. The stronghold looks like a proper dungeon that my uncle locked me in. So much attention to detail down here. And can we admire how good end crystals look on this detailed obsidian? The amount of effort that has been put into this pack is truly magnificent and worth the download if you want to enter the matrix. And all the little details in this pack are what makes it worth it. Well, now we are out of the matrix, YouTube knows what you like. So click on the recommended video for a good time, and I'll see you legends over there.